I did mention in the last episode that I had a, a few skills I need to grind out to help get those Western Province Elite Diaries. One of them being agility. I do need 80 agility and I'm sitting at a pretty 74 agility right now. Plus I have a decent amount of Alks that I've been stacking up and I'm going to need a lot of money. One of the other skills I want to get up, not necessarily for the Diaries, is construction. And that's going to be fairly pricey. I haven't really done any money making in a while because I had made a good chunk of cash last time I did those plate bodies. But I've slowly been spending that on things like my coffers at Miscellanea, managing the kingdom, you know. And uh, like repairing my barrows, especially from Nightmare Zone, which Nightmare Zone itself also costs some money. Things like runes and whatnot. The cash stack slowly dwindles, so I'm going to need to make a little bit of money too. I might as well finish off all of my alks while I do it. Is this farming? I'm actually running pretty low on some seaweed spores at the moment, but I'm about to grab a farming level, which is going to be 80 farming. Anytime you get 80 in really any skill, it's kind of a nice milestone overall. Maybe not such a big deal with like fire making or fletching really, some of those easier faster skills, but just in general it looks a little bit better on your skills menu, so that's kind of nice. Back on the, uh, the seaweed spore number, I might do a little bit of underwater agility to get a little bit of agility XP, and it'll collect some spores. You get mostly spores that spawn on the ground while you do it, but you get a few extra for turning in the tiers, and I would get some agility XP while I do it, which we just had a clip saying I need agility XP, so it's not a terrible idea, we'll see. Making gains already, everybody. Here comes 75 agility. Now, I said I need 80 agility. That's because I'm going to summer pie from 80 to 85 for the requirements. It's not that I need 80 agility for the requirements and I can now summer pie. I still got five levels to go for sure. So far, the episode seems like it's going to be pretty straightforward. Agility laps and farming. I've got a lot of scattered collecting I plan on doing on this episode overall. So, the clips might jump around a lot to some farming and agility levels and stuff. We'll. I feel like I end every clip with we'll see, but uh, I mean, we'll see. Some of my favorite ALK items have been the uh, the bracelets that I've been making overall. Getting some gems, turning them into bracelets is not terrible for crafting XP. And the ALKs are actually pretty good. I mentioned, I think fairly early in the series, that I wanted to get my arty hards done and eventually get 99 thieving so that I could pickpocket the czar people for tokel and gems at a pretty good rate. I don't have my arty hards done yet, so I don't plan on doing a ton of these. And I really should go grab some dodgy necklaces to speed this up. But it's been long enough that I, since I've talked about pickpocketing these guys that I really felt like I should at least try it out. I'm definitely not doing this near the max pace right now, but overall this is a lot more gems per hour than gem mining, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to not do any gem mining. In fact, let's take a clip out of that real quick. There are a few key differences between pickpocketing for my gems or mining for the gems. For one, I'd like to say clearly I don't need to just get gems if I'm looking for money. There's lots of other alkables out there. These are just the ones I'm going to go for right now. The biggest thing with mining them is clearly getting that mining XP for me. I would like to finish 99 mining someday, but I'd like to be really close to 99 mining or at least like every level I could get before I decide to sit down and finish the cape grind would be nice. It's just if you only have to go like 97 to 99, the cape doesn't feel bad. If I decide to go get my mining cape and I'm still at 99, it's gonna feel a little bit longer overall the fact that I've focused really on just mining supplies rather than mining for XP It's felt kind of nice in the Cape So I do like the mining XP But this is way slower in terms of gems per hour and overall crafting XP banks mostly because you get all those soft gems As you saw that inventory there. There's like no good gems It's really all topaz opal and jades, which I still need some of those for silver silver jewelry Excuse me, but in all reality, I don't need that much silver jewelry So I probably should be pickpocketing more than I mine, but I need mining XP more than I I need thieving XP too, so I'll be splitting up a little bit. I have been increasing my herb runs lately. I'm trying to get a higher herb lore level, mostly for anti-venom type stuff, and uh, being able to make the higher level pool when I get my construction level up. But I'm running low on super compost and ultra compost. I have a decent amount of watermelon seeds left, but really not enough to keep up with the ultra and super compost, and that's really not the best way to get your super compost anyway. I'm going to be buying some pineapples for a little bit. These can be turned into super compost, and I've got a lot of volcanic ash. In fact, there was a vote that went through recently that was going to make volcanic ash a little bit better to collect, but I still have a lot of it to work with right now. I just wanted to show that even though I might be a little low on money, pineapples are pretty cheap, and I need some super compost, so I'll be buying pineapples for a little bit. And time to check in on agility. I feel like you all know what's coming. If I'm at the end of a, a of an agility lap, excuse me, and I say, guys, check out what I've been doing on agility. I'm getting a level. 76 agility. I've only got four levels to go. I haven't really done any underwater yet. So it's a little bit slower, of course, but I do, I do need some seaweed spores, so I'll get a little bit done. I might time it to make sure that I get the level at underwater agility just to, uh, make it look like I was doing a lot of it, but I'll probably do like an hour or so of, of it if I do. In general, though, I'm, I am happy with the, uh, the agility gains. I'm just, I'm not that motivated for agility right now, so I'm just not too excited on it. 
here comes a fairly interesting level. Uh, I'm actually about to get 92 magic. I thought I might be getting this while I was alking, but I wasn't anywhere near the amount of alks to get there. I, I ran out of alkable items, but this Camelot teleport to get back up to the beginning of the agility course is actually going to grab that 92 mage for me. So halfway to 99, I'm magic. This is one of the uh, the levels that I'm happier with on the account overall. Magic's not necessarily always super fast to train, so getting up to 92 is kind of nice. It, it goes similar with mining. I've really mostly been training it just to like get stuff out of it, not to get a higher level. So, I'll take it. It's actually been going fairly quick. For right now, though, instead of doing some more agility, uh, I'm gonna go do a farming run. Get out of here, sandwich lady. I don't need you. I fucking did it. Oh my god. Mining pet on the hardcore Iron Man, by the way. I don't even know what to say. Holy sh... Are you kidding me? Oh, I was just doing agility. I'm not gonna lie. If I could have traded... No, I don't even want to say that. Dude! No way! Oh! This is kind of ironic. I'm doing this to get some money. I now have to go insure this, which is going to cost me some money, believe it or not. No way! Are you kidding me? Are you- are you kidding me? I did get my recorder on a little bit late, uh, I mean 30 seconds maybe or so after I got the pet, so the initial hype had died down a little bit, but I cannot believe that I got a mining pet on the account. It's the third pet. I'm very excited about that. That was one of the big reasons that I did gem mining for mining XP too. The biggest reason was to collect some gems while I did it, and it's like 50k XP an hour. It's really not bad, but Motherload mine is a lot simpler to do and not that much slower XP. Plus, I need the ores from Motherload really just as much as I need gems. I need supplies in general. The thing is, it has a great chance of getting a pet overall when you mine gem rocks, so now I don't really have that excuse anymore, but... I mean, if that's the only thing I could find to complain about getting a pet, then this is overall pretty fucking awesome. I'll take it. Third pet in the account, I gotta go insure it, and then, uh, I guess I'll get back to some more mining. I'm pretty close to a level at the moment. Here's what I thought might be the next mining clip you guys see. 93 mining means I'm only six levels away from 99, obviously. That's actually not too bad. It's a lot of XP to go, but uh, I've said it a few times in this episode. It's been going fairly quick because I'm not focused on the, the slow XP. I don't think I'll be getting another mining level in this episode. It's been a while since I've got a mining level because they're super slow, and I don't plan on doing another like 14 hours of gem rocks. I'll do a pretty good chunk of them, but I'm definitely not getting 94 mining in this one. I'll take any progress I can get on this cape, though. This is one of the slowest capes in the game, so when I actually go to max, it'll be nice to already be in the mid-90s. The progress has been very scattered in this episode, I know. I just have a lot of collecting to do, really. I've also been, like, chopping uh, oak logs. You haven't really seen anything from that, because I'm pretty far from a wood-cutting level. And uh, lots of thieving, mining, farming, agility, stuff like that just doesn't really give a lot of clips other than leveling up, and I guess I got a pet earlier. There is 81 farming, which actually unlocks the uh, dragon fruit tree, which I think I have a couple of seeds from farming contracts at that on that right now at the moment, excuse me. I probably won't plant them right away, but now that I can, that's kind of interesting. In general, I started the episode with 80 farming, or getting 80 farming, I got 81. We might see 82 in this episode. Kind of depends on Hispori seeds. I actually haven't gotten too many of those lately. I am aware that the end of my last clip said I hadn't gotten very many Hispori seeds lately, but I got pretty lucky right after that and got another seed. Uh, generally, I haven't been fighting the Hispori until I have another seed to plant. It really doesn't make a huge difference if you're not getting the seeds fast enough, but this is going to be one of my slowest kills. KC8. I thought it was closer to 10. Closer to 10. I'm only two away. Whatever. Can I get something like a white lily seed, por favor? White berries! Oh my god. God, I just got blue balled. Alright, I'll take the Addis Seed. I have a farming contract right now that I need white berries, or white lilies to, uh, to get through it, which is kind of crap, because it's a 1 in 20 from the Hispori, same as that Super Compost Bucket, so I need more Hispori Seeds. Hey, that's a new PB, minute and 18, a lot better than the last kill. Last kill was over 2 minutes, it was terrible. Not too bad, please. Oh my god. God, more white berry seeds, at least I got another Addis Seed. This is almost the same exact loot from the last one, let's just move on. Probably gonna get back-to-back -back agility levels here. Uh, this is about to be 77 agility. I've been grinding it out pretty well between farming runs. Pretty much everything this episode has been between herb runs. So basically, I'll do an herb run. I'm like, all right, I have like an hour and 10, hour and 20 minutes until another herb run. Why don't I do something that I need to get done? So there's 77 agility. Um, I would say something cool about it, but I'm, I'm probably gonna get 78 agility in the next clip. And here comes the final lap before 78 agility. This is going to be the last level that I likely get on this episode, though I'm going to keep doing a couple more laps for right now, because I, I have a few more minutes until my herbs are ready. 
I do think I'm going to wait on 80 agility until I have a decent amount of those Alks ready. I ran out of Alks early. I've been collecting a big amount of gems and I'm going to turn into bracelets for Alks. And I've got some more Slayer coming in hot kind of soon. And that always gives a lot of Alks too. So I'm going to wait on the last couple levels just to make sure that I actually have some Alks to work with. Not to waste too much time when I'm actually using my high Alk. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the agility gains so far. Started this episode at 74 agility up to 78. It took me a little while to actually sit down and, and do it. But uh, once you get into the agility grind, it's really not so bad. It's about getting that grind started though. Please, Hispori, let me see the uh, the white lilies. I would take the compost bucket too, of course. It's probably the more important thing. Oh my god. Alright, it didn't actually say white berry instead of white lilies, so it wasn't quite as much of a troll, but I saw the white seeds in the inventory. White lily seeds do look more like barley seeds, so that, that one wasn't too bad. And I got another Addis seed, I like it. Just missed my 82 farming clip. I did manage to get uh, a few farming levels in this episode, which is kind of nice. I started speeding up uh, in terms of Hespori seeds. I got a little bit luckier on them towards the end of it. Plus, I got a few papaya trees runs in. I've been doing my fruit trees, and I'm trying to get up to the palm trees just to collect a few coconuts, too. And I like the uh, the XP that you get overall from them, of course. But 82 farming is not bad. Making some good progress on that. All right, at the end of this herb run, I'm going to go ahead and check on how my herbs are looking so you all can see what the herb tab is like. I'm just about out of seed. Oh, my God, Hespori seed. Thank you. I actually have a decent amount of these stacked up, like two. I have a couple of these stacked up while I have a, 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 a sporty growing. Speak English much. Let's go ahead and check out the bank and see what the herbs are like. I actually have just enough herbs to get me to 81, or just under actually. I'm going to be checking miscellaneous and getting herbs from that in a second though. So I'll have just enough herbs to get 81, which I can then make Ceridum and Bruise, and I'm going to start planting my Toad Flax seeds, which I have like 450 of them. I haven't planted any yet. But I'm just about out of all the other herb seeds, at least I'm running really low on them. But it's looking kind of good in the herb tab. Honestly, uh, this plus whatever I get from Toad Flax is probably going to land me between 84 and 85 herb lore for now. I need 87 for those anti-venoms that I want, but I, I don't really need anti-venoms to fight Zora. That's just a convenient option. I more need them to make the pool, which I could just boost for. So in general, herb lore XP is always nice to get. So this is going to be a big chunk of it. And for our last checkpoint of the episode, everybody, this is probably going to be wrapping this episode up. I'm going to be getting a lot of herbs and some good logs from this one. So I have like 12,000 oak logs and 2,000 oak planks in the bank already. So 2,400 maple and teak logs are kind of nice. And all these herbs are going to get me well over that 81 mark. It was a little more in the herbs department than I expected. Handful of seeds and whatnot that I will work with too. But uh, the big thing for me right now would be the mahogany and the teak logs, really. I do plan on doing plank make for these logs, which I'm going to need some cash for, obviously. I've been working on the cash factor for a while. While. So these will stay in the bank for a bit. I needed like 31,000 oak planks if I did only oak planks to 87 or 82, excuse me. It's not too bad in terms of planks, but this is going to shorten that number a little bit since these give more XP than oak logs do. Or, or uh, Mahogany planks and teak planks give more XP than the oak planks. Well, you guys get where I'm coming from. I'm going to wrap this episode up though, everybody. We made some pretty solid gains. Biggest thing is obviously the mining pet on this one, but overall a lot of collection happening. I've got a ton of herb lore levels and construction levels coming up soon. And the fact that I've been collecting gems to make some alks is going to get some crafting XP in there too. So it's been a few episodes in a row that like crafting and herb lore have been the focus and collecting stuff for construction but I'm almost at the point where I'm ready to use all these supplies grab those levels and start working on Slayer so you'll likely see some Slayer in the next episode I'm gonna need 93 Slayer kind of ASAP so once the Slayer floodgates open again it's probably gonna be a lot of Slayer in a row thanks for stopping in everybody I do hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you next time